In episode 14, we set up Bamboo to work with our movie app and sent a simple email when a movie was deleted. In this episode, let's explore how we can compose and send multiple emails with HTML templates. Now, since this is a Phoenix app, we can use the Bamboo Phoenix module to easily render layouts and templates. Before we add our templates, let's go to our email module and make some updates. The first thing we'll do is update the module to use Bamboo Phoenix with an email view that we'll need to create. Now, if we look at our movie removal email function, we're passing our data in as arguments into the new email function. Another way to write this is to pipe our data through functions. Let's make that update and see what it looks like. Now let's declare what layout we want to use with put HTML layout. We'll use our layout view and then a layout we'll create called email. Then we'll define a template we want to render for the email. Let's call it movieremoval.html. One note about rendering templates with Bamboo. Using a string will only render the template specified, in this case, HTML. If we wanted to render both an HTML and a text template, we would use an atom of the template's name. And since we're now using a template, we can remove the text body and HTML body functions. And then in our email, let's display some information about the movie. To do that, we need to assign the movie. So let's add another function, assign, and we'll use it to assign our movie that's being removed to the variable movie in our template. Then we'll need to update our function to accept movie as an argument. Now let's create the template we need. We'll start with our new email layout by creating a new file in our layout directory named email.html.eex. Then we'll paste in an HTML document that renders our template. And then we'll create our template. First, we'll need to create a new email directory. And then inside it, we'll create a file named movieremoval.html.eex. And we'll fill it out with the content we want to send in our email. In this case, we can access the movie variable we assigned and display different attributes. Here we're displaying our movie's title and the year it was released. Now we need to create the view for our email templates to use. We'll create a new file in our views directory and call it email view. And inside it, we'll just fill out a basic view module. Now let's open our movie controller. And since we updated our movie removal function to accept a movie as an argument, we'll pass our movie into the function. Great, now we can go to the command line and start our server. Now let's delete a movie. And if we go to our sent emails route, we see the new email is displayed along with the movie data we told it to show. Our removal email looks good, but now let's send another email when a movie is added to our site. Let's go back to our email module. And since sending these two emails will have a lot of common functionality, let's move the common parts into a function both can use. Both emails will need to use the new email from, to, and put HTML layout functions. So let's grab these. And then let's create a new private function called base email that we can move them into. Now let's update our movie removal email function to first call base email. Now we can build our email for when a movie is created. Let's create a new function, movie creation email. And inside it, we'll use our new base email function. We'll give it a subject. And assign it the movie that was just added. And then we'll render a different template we'll call movie creation. Now let's create our template. We'll go to the template slash email directory and create a new file named moviecreation.html.eex. And then we'll add the content for our email. Since we're assigning our movie, let's display its title here. Then we can go to our movie controller. And we'll add a new private function named send creation notification that will be in charge of building and sending our email. We'll first build our email by piping our movie into our email.moviecreationemail function. Then we'll send it by piping the result into mailer.deliverlater. Now we can call it in our create function right after the movie is inserted successfully into the database.
Since we made changes to our email module, we'll need to restart the server since changes to lib are not automatically recompiled. Now we can add a movie to the site. And if we look at our development logs, we can see the email was triggered. So let's go to our sent emails route. And great, we see our email is displayed with the correct title. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.